You are looking live at the feature wall in the auditorium lobby where our theater department is gathering to take a group photo for a theater in our schools month. We will have more features on the theater department this month, but in the meantime, have you secured your tickets for Shrek the Musical? I know I most definitely have. Back here live in North Penn Television Studios, good morning North Penn, I'm Brandi Marlin. And I'm Rachel Allmark. It's Friday, February 28th, and a B-Day here at North Penn. It's a busy show, let's get right into it. The Model Aviation Club was soaring high this past weekend as they held their model airplane fun fly day for the 13th year in a row. The event consisted of the best airplane models showing off designs and tricks throughout the Navy Gymnasium. It was a great way to showcase the amazing work the club has put in so far this school year. Guests from local remote control clubs and passionate model flyers from all over the state set their sights on the event focused on raising money for the Aviation Club as well as the North Penn Educational Foundation. Great work, Model Aviation Club, and keep on soaring. If you thought model planes weren't enough, this weekend also consisted of the annual PMEA Chorus Festival. The three-day event culminated on Saturday, Saturday, where 100 singers from 57 high schools across southeastern Pennsylvania gathered together in our very own auditorium to give us an amazing concert that made the weeks of hard work pay off. Mr. Brumball is back yet again to test your knowledge on this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, welcome to this week's Brumball Challenge. With all the volatility in the stock market, I thought I would ask an investment question. So here goes. You know how on the New York Stock Exchange, a bull market is a market that goes up and a bear market is a market that goes down. In the oil and gas exploration market, what do you call a market that goes up and what do you call a market that goes down? The answer when we get back. The Inter-Club Council Committee held their monthly meeting earlier this week and a surprise guest stopped in. Following club reports and upcoming events and fundraisers in the month of March, Superintendent Dr. Dietrich provided an overview of renovation needs at North Penn High School and a description of the ninth grade center and its future. Questions asked by club representatives kicked off a discussion session, allowing feedback on the district's plans and renovations to the superintendent himself. I'm just glad to be able to sit with students and just hear their ideas and what's on their mind. It speaks volumes to me because they understand that there are going to be some challenges with all of this, but there seem to be a lot of excitement for it. Uh, a lot of logistics that we still have to work out, a lot of decisions that are yet to be made, um, but getting that student input is really, really important to me. We have Abby Peters here in the studio to give you this week's lowdown. How are you doing this morning, Abby? Thanks, I'm doing great this morning. Now let's jump right into this week's slowdown. Today is the last day in the senior cafeteria to order junior prom flowers. If you haven't yet purchased your ticket, sales will continue through March 13th for $35. The National Honor Society will be holding a food drive for Mana on Main Street starting March 9th through the 12th. Non-perishable donations can be dropped off at A22 or A24. The Botany Club is hosting a free open house next Wednesday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. next to the North Penn Greenhouse. The True Door is online. Follow the link on your screen to check out the Literary Magazine's 2020 True Door featuring student stories and artwork. Finally, to those who audition for the talent show, please check outside Mr. Berger's office on Monday morning to see who's in the show, as the field has not been finalized yet. That's all I have for this week's Slowdown. I'm Abby Peters, sending it back to the desk. Thanks, Abby. Jodo Dawadi is back to give you this week's Night Crier update. Good morning, North Penn. I'm Jojo Dawadi here to present another Night Crier update. To start off this week's update, check out the site to find out whose TikTok accounts made it into the North Penn TikTok Hall of Fame, a list contrived by me. Honorable mentions go to Hannah Sparks and Jane Peters, whose accounts had the qualifications to be inducted but couldn't because of their chosen usernames. Yeah, sorry. Who do you think the Eagles should sign during this offseason? Staff writer Nick Deddy gives his take in his article entitled Soaring into the Offseason. Lastly, catch a recap of Dr. Dietrich's discussion with members of the Inner Club Council regarding the ninth grade change written by Eric Jesperger. That's all we have for this week's update. I'm Jojo Dawadi, and make sure to check out these articles and many more at nightcrier.org or the Student News Source app. And don't forget to read the night, day, or night. We have Aaron Jesperger here in the studio to give us all the sports news. How are you today, Aaron? I'm doing great this morning. Thanks, Brandy and Rachel. We have a lot to cover for this week's sports update, so let's get into it. Last night, the boys' ice hockey team lost to Downingtown West 3-2 in a thriller down to the wire. 
Earlier this week, the ice hockey team beat Ridley to open up their Flyers Cup tournament with a 4-1 win. The Knights finished their season at 14-4-0-1. On the court, both basketball teams are in, state, are in the state tournament this weekend. Tonight, the girls will play the Patriots of Freedom High School at Eastern Middle School. Game time is 7 p.m. The boys will play tomorrow in their first round of states against Wilson at Cutston University. Tip-off is at 4 p.m. Good luck to both teams in Pennsylvania's March Madness. Congratulations goes out to North Penn swim and diving teams who won districts last Friday at LaSalle. Their state meet is next week. And finally, best of luck to Will Marrow in the state wrestling tournament as he continues his quest for the medal this afternoon. That's all for Sports Update. I'm Erin Jesperger, sending it back to the desk. We have all dreamed of how our future will turn out. So we asked you how you hope your future looks on this week's Question of the Week. Work at Dunkin' Donuts. I hope I'm rich. Ha ha ha, go to college. I hope I have a Lamborghini. I'm starting a brand and I'm gonna be a fashion designer and I'm gonna be famous and everybody's gonna know me. I wanna be a hedge fund manager. Very rich. I'll be on an island by myself. Graduate from online school and then get a good job. Rich Mary Richer. No student loans and a shiny new Mercedes Benz. Raising, Raising lots, lots of money at mini thons. French, French teachers. teachers. Shout out Miss Apolitis. I just wanna be happy. With a lot of dogs. <laughs> Traveling the world together. Dancing all night at mini thons. We have Mr. Monero here with members of National Honor Society to discuss their food drive. How are you today, Mr. Monero? Rachel, I am fantastic. Brandy, good morning to you too. And North Penn High School, good morning. We are here with members of the National Honor Society. It is Divya Sood and Gwen's Will, and they're here to talk about an upcoming food drive from Animal Main Street. So Gwen, why don't you tell us a little bit about what this food drive is all about and how we get involved. All right, so the food drive is happening next week, Monday to Thursday. You can bring in any non-perishable goods, most likely boxing, boxes and cans. And okay. then you can bring them to A22 or A24. Okay, so what kind of things are we looking to do here? So all this food goes to MANA, and basically anybody who brings in food can participate in this, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a small action, but it can have really meaningful impacts for people in our community um, in terms of providing our community members with balanced and nutritious food. And then also just a reminder that NHS members do receive a little bit of service credit for participating in this project. All right, so good for NHS uh, service hours, also great for North Penn High School, and even better for the entire community who can benefit from it. Anything else, Gwen, that we need to know? Uh, no, I think that's it. All right, Gwen, you told me this morning you're going to West Virginia University yep. next year, right? Yep. It needs not be said who among our watching audience this morning is a big West Virginia fan. We won't even say the name. All right, great luck with the uh, food drive. It's going to be you. awesome. And again, where do we bring the food? A22 or A24. A22 or A24, starting next week. Have a great weekend, North Penn. Let's send it back to the desk. Did you tweet your answer to at MPTV using the hashtag Brumball? Let's check back in with Mr. Brumball himself for this week's answer. Hey, welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. In the oil and gas exploration market, a bull market is called a gush and a bear market is called the drip. Not the drip like this, but a drip like a little teeny speck of oil. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. The winner of the Brumball Challenge is no one this week, and we will have rolling recognition next week. Thanks for all of this. Thank you, everyone, for this edition of Mornings. I'm Brandy Marlin. And I'm Rachel Allmark. But you have to try better next time for this for the Brumbo Challenge question of the week. We cannot have the winner. Right? I know. I don't know. I, I, you guys got to keep on tweeting. You could at Wait. least use Google. Yeah, I mean Google's pretty helpful, and I mean let's all be honest. Sometimes we use it for homework, but what can you do? Sometimes you need Google. Also, the rolling recognition winner. Like you have to make sure you're nominating a teacher who you really admire and who you think really deserves a new, fun, comfortable chair at their desk. I know, and it's coming to your guys' emails. So make sure you're checking your emails. You're getting tons of updates through your emails from the district, from your teachers. So make sure you're checking there and make sure you know your login, guys. I know some people that don't. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> and so here we go. We have one more surprise for you guys. Rachel, guess what? What? 
I don't know. <laughs> we are here at North Penn Studios and we are having a blast this morning and I hope everyone had a fun time this morning. Thank you to all of our anchors and um, this has been a really great morning show. And Rachel, do you have any words? Uh, not really. I think you summed everything up. We need a better winner next time for the Brumball Challenge and we need a teacher to, nom to be nominated for rolling recognition. Yeah, I know. We're, we're really getting there, guys. So make sure you're checking your emails. And I know who I'm going to nominate again this upcoming year. Who are you going to nominate? Um, I can't tell because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Do you know if you're going to nominate someone? Nominate me! <laughs> nominate Mr. Berger. Yeah, Mr. Berger, Mr. Monero, Mr. Gilmer, all these fun parts of North Penn Television. Do you have any teachers you're going to nominate? Um, I nominated Mr. Haley last time, so we'll see if he gets another nomination. I heard a lot of people nominate him, so yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of wonderful teachers that definitely deserve to be nominated, so it's going to be interesting to see who wins that comfy chair. It's actually kind of really funny. So I was looking at it, and it is comfy. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Um, all right, this whole thing's off the rails right now. So a couple things, a couple things. This is how live TV works, first of all. All right, good. That was the sound of her hair in the mic. We are now going to... Rolling recognition! Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, we are back to roll down the hall to another rolling recognition recipient. Let's go to Damon Crosby to see who it is. Hey everyone, so we are back this week with another recipient of the Rolling Recognition Award and we are going to go surprise him right now. And the recipient of this week's Rolling Recognition is... Mr. Fakish! And Mr. Fakish, what do you want to say for everyone who voted for you this week? Oh, thank you very much, everybody. What a surprise. Uh, thank God it's Friday, and have a great weekend. Okay, and do you know what you're going to do with this chair for the next week? I don't know, but, but I'll sit in and I'll relax and I'll enjoy it. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, thank you, Mr. Fakish. So everyone, make sure that next week you vote for another Rolling Recognition so we can do this again next week, and have a great weekend, North Penn. Awesome. That's all we have for the Decision of Mornings. I'm Rachel Allmark. And I'm Brandy Marlin. Have a wonderful day, North Penn. Yay!